So now it seems that standing is the new kneeling in that only three players in the NBA, Jonathan Isaac, Myers Leonard, and a coach, Greg Popovich, are actually standing for our nation's anthem. Uh, your take on, on the state of the league. I think it's disgraceful. We work with them. We work with them very hard trying to get them open. I was pushing them to get open. And then I see everybody kneeling when the, during the, the anthem. Uh, we're not, it's not acceptable to me. When I see them kneeling, I, don't, I just turn off the game. I have no interest in the game. And let me tell you, there's plenty of other people out there, too. And Black Lives Matter, nobody's done better for our black community than me. Nobody, and that is... With the possible exception of Abraham Lincoln, it's true. Criminal justice reform, opportunity zones, best employment numbers in history, every single what I've done. Uh, for, and again, nobody has done more for the black community by far. I always say nobody other than, I'll give the one exception, Abraham Lincoln, okay? But even that, I mean, to be honest with you, but nobody yeah. has done more than I have. But when I see people kneeling during the playing and disrespecting, Disrespecting our flag and disrespecting our national anthem. What I do personally is turn off the game. And the ratings for the basketball are way down, if you know. And mm -hmm. I hear some others are way down, too, including baseball, because all of a sudden now baseball's in the act. We got to stand up for our flag. We have to stand up for our country. We have to stand up for our anthem. And a lot of people agree with me. Hey, if I'm wrong, I'm going to lose an election, okay? And that's okay with me. But I will always stand for our country and for our flag. That's 